Hey girls, okay, so today we're gonna go from basic to what? Bombshell. And this is for Valentine's Day. I mean, it's what, a few days away? So let's get snatched. We're gonna start by prepping the eyes and I'm gonna use NYX Jumbo Pencil in the shade Milk. This is a makeup staple, ladies, so if you don't have it, you can order it, it's like two bucks. And I'm gonna spread it out with my fingertips. And now it's time for my handy dandy scotch tape. Yeah, no, this just helps give you a really crisp line on the outside of your eyeshadow look. And I'm gonna go in with Max Blunt and a fluffy brush and just start with my transition colors. I bought this palette at Makeup Forever like in Miami so long ago. I don't even know the number or name, but it's really soft brown. I'm just using that to blend out the blunt color. And then next I'm gonna go in with Max Brown Down just to create some dimension and kind of have a little gradient effect going on. Alright, we're looking good. Next I'm gonna go into the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette using that same brush because I'm just not that fancy. And I'm gonna go on with blackout just to add some more dimension. So you just want it to look like the darkest color is fading into a really light natural brown color. Okay, so this is the Backstage Cosmetics palette. I'm gonna use that really pretty pink color. And you'll see how that white base is really helping the pink attach to my lid and kind of pop on my brown skin. And then I'm gonna go into the Gwen Stefani palette and apply a really, really, really light pink shade to my tear ducts. So that's it for now for the eyes. Now we're gonna do this painful tape removal. I mean, I hate it, it's like, ugh. Anyway, done. Next, it's the face, and I'm gonna apply my NARS All Day Luminous Weightless. <laughs> I swear that's a tongue tire. All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation in the shade Trinidad. I'm just gonna apply that to all of my little spots, you know, no concealer this time. Just use my beauty blender, a damp beauty blender, to blend that baby out. Blend for your life. Next, I'm gonna use my Bobbi Brown, oh Lord, I can't talk today, my Bobbi Brown foundation stick in the shade Golden Honey. And I'm gonna highlight all the areas that you see. And this is my nighttime highlight, so that's why it's different from my everyday highlight. And I'm just gonna blend it with the same damp beauty blender. So you girls see the snatchery that is happening? So I'm gonna take some leftover foundation and just blend that line of demarcation where my um, highlight and foundation meet. And now it's time to set. Using Laura Mercier's translucent setting powder, I'm just gonna pack that on and we're gonna bake like a cake, honey. We are going to bake. Okay, so nothing beats a contour. This contour is gonna be funky we're gonna bring it all the way down to the chin and this is basically gonna chisel the entire face and of course we're gonna apply it to our forehead to kind of get rid of the broadness did I just make up a word mm, oh well and I'm going to blend this out using um, what brush is this I'll list it below for Mac I like to blend it with a brush first and then use a beauty blender so that's what you're gonna see me do and I'm gonna Kind of be careful because I don't want to get the dark uh, foundation on my lace because this closure is just so laid. I don't want to darken the edge of it. So, yeah. So now I'm going to just sharpen up the contour. I know this looks crazy, but I've been doing it for a few months now and it really helps just give you that extra oomph. You know what I'm saying? That mm. So now I'm going to use this liquidy stuff <laughs> from Stella. To attach this, attach, to apply this purple glitter just to intensify the look. I mean, it's Valentine's Day, right? I'm gonna treat it like it's a freaking prom. And I'm just gonna line my eyes using Sephora's, um, this is not the waterproof one, but this is the matte black eyeliner. I'm the worst at explaining this, but I'm just not gonna exaggerate it too much. And yeah, I think it's pretty snatched. It looks pretty even to me. And um, yeah, nothing fancy. So it's brow time and I'm gonna use Maybelline's Master Precision Skinny. This is like their new pencil, but it's just like the ones from MAC. I don't know if you guys remember, they were really thin and tiny, but this is way cheaper and I'm just filling in my brows. I don't want them to be too heavy. And I'm gonna go on with this NYX, um, it's like push-up brow. And I'm gonna just use that to highlight under the brow and blend it out with my fingers. And you guys can see the brows are looking really nice and soft, yes. And now I'm gonna dust off all that baking powder. So I'm gonna use a pearl pencil from Sephora and line the waterline and then go back on top of that with a black pencil just to kind of give me that doll baby look. And I'm gonna use a pencil brush and Max 
brown down again to blend it out and make it really soft. And of course I had to visit the Queen of the Nile and <laughs> extend my tear ducts to give me that feline Egyptian goddess like look and I felt like this really completed the look. I have on falsies already like you know mink lashes so I'm just going to add some mascara to these babies top and bottom and then I'm just going to blend out everything on my face with max mineralizing skin finish in dark deepest. For blush today I'm using NYX's Ignite Passion. It has a little shimmer to it and then I'm going to highlight using Max Cheeky Bronze. And now I'm going to intensify my contour using the same blunt shade from MAC and this is just going to kind of set the contour which we didn't do earlier. And I'm going to re-snatch the nose just to intensify the brown. Again we want gradient like a fix. And I'm going to use a cheap little $1 pencil because I am cheap sometimes. I'm going to be using my girl Missy Lynn's new lipstick from her collab with Beige Cosmetics. It is Cloud 9 and I wore this shade specifically because I saw a lot of girls saying it's not for brown skin and I mean it's going to look fabulous. You just have to use a really nice liner, blend it in really nicely and now I'm going to set my face of course and we're done! <laughs> Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Thank you for watching, supporting, commenting, and liking. This is a really, I mean, I want to say simple, but it's only simple if you really stop, pause the video, and do each thing step by step. My closure is from my line, The Crown Collection. I'll list the link below. I will be doing a color and closure install video. I love you. Thank you so much again for watching. I hope this helps. And I hope you slay on Valentine's Day. Be sure to watch my last video. Love you girls. Bye-bye.